that rant's probably for Twitch only. I'll probably clip that out of the, out of the YouTube bot. So it's not like, you know, 20 hours of me playing Skies of Arcadia, and then in the middle I'm just like, let me tell you. All right, new ship. Let's get some sailors for this ship. I don't know what the hell that was. Doesn't matter. All right, I think we can finally start to recruit. I don't know what these guys are doing. Yes, finally, Lawrence. Yeah, all right. That seems totally reasonable. I have like 40,000. Good, we have a deal then. All right, I forgot. I got to be reading the reading the text to you. Lawrence joined our crew as helmsman. He just helped your bud sell his OG magic art. He did back in the uh, uh, 98. Oh, that's great. See, like, I think there's also a tendency with collecting uh, uh, where you're like, I'm going to hold on to this until it's expensive. And like, when you do that with so much stuff, you end up holding on to everything forever. And I don't think that's healthy. So you kids are recruiting new members for your crew. Well, you've come to the right place. They don't call it Sailor's Island for nothing. I'm sure you'll find plenty of candidates for your crew. Actually, Polly, we were wondering if maybe you'd like to join our crew. I'd be delighted if you could come with us and be our cook. Probably the best cook we know. Technically the only cook we know. What, you want me to join your cook? This is a joke, right? Well, ever since the sailor I married got shipwrecked during one of his voyages to the east, I've had to make ends meet by running this tavern with only my daughter, Annie. Uh, I can't suddenly pick up and leave. Why not, mother? Go ahead and go. You've always said you, wanted, you wish you had a ship so you could go look for your father. Look for my father? I don't even remember my father's face. You, you know. If anything, do it for me. Go find my father, bring him home. Don't worry about the tavern. I'll take care of things. Anne. Thank you, Anne. Find your father and bring him home to show what a, what a wonderful daughter he has, I promise. Well, I guess this is it then. Serious about your offer? Be happy to join your crew. Leave the ship's galley to me. Cook up lots of tasty food. I wonder if, um... Uh, Polly, who joined our crew... I'm trying to talk to people who I think have more detailed models than the other people. I wonder if Polly, who joined our crew, her shipwrecked, um, she said to the east? I guess we can't check the map, can we? Not until we leave. Um, was the guy who passed away on that stranded island that we were on. On Crescent Island. Female sailor, you're not, we're not gonna be able to recruit you. You don't have a name. I'm just checking to see if there's anybody else in the bar. Not really interested in talking to them, I guess. We'll leave. I gotta buy some ship parts. We're doing a lot of due diligence right now. Hey, you're Vice the Bold, aren't you? Welcome to the Sailor's Guild. They call me something different every time I come back, and I think it's because we keep making choices out in the world. Did we do any of these? We already did that one. Haven't done that one. We did that one, right? Oh, we haven't done that. One. Wait, we did and it's done. So there's two that we haven't done. A loner and text using machines he built. Um, doesn't give us any clues as far as where he is. And then this guy's in front of Nasser. We tried fighting him before. And it was like a stalemate. And so I just reset the game because I was like, I don't want to deal with this. All right. 
Word is that the Nasser capital, Nasrid, has been attacked by the Armada. Yeah, yeah, we we know all this. We we did that stuff, or we we didn't do that, but we were there. Um, let's also fill our items and stuff. I also I wonder about um, game collecting. If like the pandemic is creating a bubble, like if it's gonna bubble and like go back down you know or if it's going to uh it like boosted the price of everything and then everything's gonna hold you know you give things a year yeah i'm not buying anything on ebay for at least a year you're 100 right um We spent a lot of money on those 21 crystals, but they bailed us out a couple of times in, a bo in some boss fights. Yeah, I saw that um, PS Vita stuff started spiking in price, and I'm like, you guys are absolute maniacs. Like, no one is playing the Vita. Come on. I, I say that with love for the Vita. I, it's one of my favorite handhelds, but nobody's playing it. Hey, isn't that one of the guys on the wanted list of the Sailor's Guild? Uh, we'll talk to him later. This guy. Let's recruit him. We need, we need this kind of energy on our ship. Alright. I wonder if the weapons shop has updated at all. Can we recruit this dude? So you finally have your very own ship, huh? It'll make things easier for the both of us if I just go with you. Okay. Well... We did recruit that dude. No one played the Vita. I loved, I played and loved the Vita when it came out, but I have an affinity for non-Nintendo handhelds that dramatically fail. Uh, oh, hey, you're Vice the Bold. I've got plenty of great weapons for you. you Want to buy something from me? I actually, um, I have a PSTV as well. Uh, oh, we can equip some stuff. Ooh. Aka and Finna need stuff, too. Oh, and we have Enrique, apparently. The Prince. I feel like our money should go up when we have the Prince. <laughs> um... There's, like, just as many good games on the Vita as there is on the Saturn, which is sounds like kind of a dig on both the Saturn and the Vita. But I like both those systems, but there's not a lot of games. I do wanna, I do wanna mine the Vita. I, I feel like um, the Vita and the PSP. I bought the beta for Five Fantasy Tactics end of list. Yeah, you're uh, not wrong. These things are all really, really good, apparently. Like, I, w I wasn't buying, um, I wasn't buying accessories for a while and maybe I should have been. Yeah, I, uh, man, I can't even think of 
good games on the Vita right now off the top of my head. I don't know if you guys... I feel like the Vita, uh, when it came out, it was like... A lot of people were hanging hopes on uh, Borderlands 2 being like the killer app for the Vita. And then it just ran like shit. Like, I don't, I don't know if you guys have played uh, Borderlands 2 on the Vita, but let me tell you, it is not fun. <laughs> the game runs at such a rough frame rate that you basically can't use anything that isn't a spray and pray weapon. Um, like sniper rifles are unusable. Anything with like a low fire count is unusable. I think Enrique's has a fine accessory. Thanks, come again. All right. I'm gonna roll recruiting people. I'm gonna cut this whole town's population in half. Mystery merchant. Come take a look. Slayer ring seems kind of nice, but I don't know. What is this? Purple moon. Yeah, cast spells. Yeah, I don't care. Um, let's sell this stuff because I don't know why we still have it. Uh, all right. Oh, this is the inn. This is not where I want to be. I guess we'll stay the night. Why not? The Uncharted game on the Vita is really good. Tearaway is really good on the Vita. Um, the problem is a lot of stuff that was on the Vita that was really great um, just got ported because nobody was playing the Vita. Like, a lot of that stuff you can play on the PS4. Um, I don't know if you guys have played the Gravity Rush games, but those are uh, both really fun. And Wild, I was thinking about playing them. There's nobody here, right? I don't think there was, but we're gonna, we're gonna just be thorough. We're gonna do our due diligence. Um, I had a lot of fun with the Gravity Rush games. I think they're built for handheld because I was thinking about streaming them, but I think it'll just make everybody nauseous. Like there's so much flipping. Got a sham. Did our due diligence. There's nobody else up here. Uh, -uh. there's so much like flipping and gravity stuff uh, that I think it'd be tough to watch on a stream, but I don't know. Anyway, I have a Vita TV or a PlayStation TV and uh, it's on the list of, for like stream stuff. I have everything to get it going. It has copyright protection built into it, but I got a uh, HDMI thing to strip it out. Hey, it's Vice the Bold. Never expect to see you come in here. Want to buy some cannons? Yes. We own zero of these. Oh, we, we have just like a ton of prototype cannons. And that's it. Engine cover. Armored deck. Can we equip that? Nothing equipped. Equipped. Doing all the due diligence. Just get two armored decks, I guess. I know we, we had accessories on the ship before, but... Um... I don't know. Let's just throw some money around, I guess. 
We're investing in the local economy of these digital ding-dongs. I think we got everything that we came for. Can we... Uh, unequip the prototype cannon? We only have prototype cannons. Oh, it makes sense. The cannons were on our previous ship that we don't have. Do we just roll with... I guess we just roll with the prototypes, because I don't know what they do and how they work or anything. It seems like for all this game's bluster about, like, you get your own ship, you get to fly anywhere you want, it, it really feels like... Uh, we're going here, north, east, got there. Uh, it really feels like the ship battles are actually not that important in the game. Is that weird to say? I am running into stuff. So it was mentioned that I might need something to get, like I don't have the right people yet or something. Can I get through this? I can't tell if we're making progress. I don't think we are. No, we are not making progress. I got a fish though, so there's that, I guess. So if we can't get through that. Maybe we need to, um... Try to figure out where we should, where we should be. Shrine Island, Pirate Isle. I assume the game will kind of like push us into the right place. Can we get through here or no? We cannot yet. Okay. All right. The game is pushing us into the right place, I assume. We need to recruit the correct people in order to like Oh, I forgot I forgot about that pirate that we, we need to beat up who's just standing there minding his own business. In Pirate Isle. Now that we've saved it, let's see if that one pirate is still here. He is not? He's left? He left. Is that possible? Maybe we're in the wrong dock area. Oh yeah, because he was on the other side here. Um, I think there was, at the time of the Vita 2, there was a, a real thirst for like first person shooters on in a handheld. And like, all of them were kind of bad. Like, Breach and Clear kind of sucks and is expensive. And then, uh, that pirate that we had a chance to fight is now gone. I don't know where he is. Is this even the right place? It isn't the right place. He's gone because this is not the right place. I guess we're gonna try to recruit here. I think the game wants us to see this transformed world. Man, I never expected Nasserian forces to collapse so easily under a Vluin attack. Alas, no one dreamed the Vluins would come through the North Dano Strait with the Sky Rift blocking the way. They were caught so completely off guard, the cannons on the palace walls never got off a single shot. Boy, was Kazim mad. <laughs> Everybody's, his whole town's dying and they're like, boy, was he mad. Uh, you tried to play Gris on a not docked Switch, so you can imagine doing an FPS on a handheld? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, what were, what were some of the... There was like a um, military style game. I forgot what it's called. Oh, Unit 13 on the, on the Vita, which functioned all right, but was like also not fun, like a pretty unremarkable shooter. And they make it a kill zone, which was fantastic. The kill zone on the Vita is fantastic, but the load times are brutal. Hey, it's Vice the Bold. Never. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the. Um, this seems way better than the prototype cannon. Like, this seems way. Like, these prototype cannons are terrible. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh man, really? Really? I actually do not want to become famous. That sounds, becoming famous actually sounds like a curse. Oh my god. I, I hold on. I'm now dealing with something. Okay, I've reconnected to chat. What about infamous? <laughs> uh yeah, I bought last year on sale and loved it. Um Man, why am I? There we go. I'm so bad. So I like blocked him, but I couldn't ban him. I'm bad at Twitch. Give Chris a shot on Switch. Uh, there's a lot of games I should give a shot on Switch uh, and, and only so much time in the day. Um, you bought it on sale last year. Reminds you of an Echo. I don't like Echo, though. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's buy some cannons. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, sorry to burst, burst that bubble. <laughs> uh, Gris looks good, though. I, I think I played a little bit of it on uh, Larry's Switch. I think he bought it. Um, buy, try, buy the torpedo too. Yeah, there we go. Now our ship is all equipped. Thank you for stopping by. I guess we won't be rolling with prototype cannons. Can't go to the market anymore, it's destroyed. I don't even know if we're supposed to recruit here. Depressed man. Doesn't have anything important to say. We don't need a bartender. Can we get out of this area? No. Oh, wait. No. Um, I'm trying, trying to get through Hollow Knight right now. This is this is my experience with Hollow Knight currently. Um, I'm at the Mantis Lords, right? And I don't think that I should be fighting the Mantis Lords without upgrading my nail, but I'm stubborn. So I keep doing it and I keep losing. And I, I so I'll fight the Mantis Lords like three or four times. My heart rate will be skyrocketing because I'm like tense about it. And then uh, I realize I'm trying to go to bed, and then I just turn turn Hollow Knight off. <laughs> I I can get they're beatable without the nail upgrade. That's what I think because like, uh, and I'm trying not to like figure out any um, 
figure out any uh, uh, spoilers or anything. We can't go anywhere over here, so I guess we're just gonna leave. Um, I'm trying to do it without any coaching or like watching somebody else do it, and uh, I think I've got the method down. Um, I can beat the first, ver like just the one guy, pretty easily uh, without getting hit. And then uh, the two, I, I kind of, I think I know what to do, but I just have to do it, which is, which are two different things. Um, the air attacks. The, the thing that I'm trying to figure out, two things I'm trying to figure out with the Mantis Lord is like, is there a time when I can heal when they're like gripping the walls and throwing the boomerangs? Um, all right, where are we going? Temple, Marma. Yeah, I see, that's the thing. I'm trying to figure out wh wh where the spot is exactly. Um, the Luin Cat, I guess we should go. If we can't get through here, we can't get through these parts. I guess we have to go north through here. Can we go, can we go north here? I guess we probably can. This is where we wanted to, wanted to go, so. Um. But yeah, it's my main problem is that Hollow Knight is not a chill game to play before bed. It's just it's just not. This is where we wanted to set up our base. Vice, this is pretty amazing, huh? Hey, yeah. hey Enrique, how's it feel to be outside the Imperial Palace? Huh? Oh? that face everything is uh, so beautiful I've never seen anything like it before looks like someone's a little airsick perhaps all this traveling is a little rough on our uh, sheltered prince yes you are correct I didn't realize that sailing could be so rough but this is my decision can't let a little air sickness slow me down Ugh. oh he's Enrique, are you going to be all right? Well, looks like this is going to be a long trip for Enrique. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Once you get used to sailing, you won't get sick as easy. I'm sure you'll be okay. A gangly old man's voice. Hey, you guys long enough to get here. Look at these two. Just look at them. Small old man. Hey, hey, it's good to meet you. You're Vice, right? Gilder told us you needed a crew. We're here to report for duty. <laughs> oh my god. I'm Brabham. If anything's broke, I can fix it. I'm the greatest engineer that ever lived. It's a nice looking ship. If you want, I can get it running smoother than ever. Crank it up a few notches, give it some more power. <laughs> ba bam. I'm Ismail. You want something built? I build it. You want something? Don't want something built? I build it anyway. I'll build some buildings for you. You're gonna need a base, right? Uh, thank you. We got Deus Ex and Machina here to help us out. Uh, leave it to us. But before we get started, we'll need some funds to cover expenses and labor. I just spent all my money. First, I'll fortify the hull of your ship. You'll be able to pass through stone reefs. Then I'll upgrade your engine, so you'll be passing through sky roofs. But it'll cost you 25,000 gold. I plan to build you a port and some living quarters first. Let's see, I need about 75... Oh, no. Oh, beans. Oh, beans. We'll need 100,000 gold. Well, Definis does need some modifications, and we're gonna need a, more than a couple of caves. Enrique is right. Let's put off our search for the other moon crystals until we can get a hundred thousand gold to pay these um, gentlemen. We need that cash money. 
So the game right now is like a just grind. Is that what we're doing? I guess that's what we're doing. Yeah, the soundtrack for Hollow Knight's really, really great. Um, when you fight the Mantis Lords, uh, the soundtrack kicks into like this, uh, this like Castlevania-esque music, like the battle is on and you're, you're like primed for it. Uh, is there nothing up here? I turned off the, the, or I turned the random encounters back on because apparently we need money. Basically, just trying to mug the local wildlife now, I guess. That seems bad. Got him. Easy peasy. So we got 640 gold and we need, so we need to do this, what, a hundred times? There has to be a better way. I don't know what that better way is yet though. I guess fighting... Can we go south here? I think there's mountains there. Let's go this way. There's some plant monsters in this zone that give a good amount of money. Huh. Where are the plant monsters? Are they just random encounters in the air? What is this? This seems like a thing. Between Nass and Crescent Moon Island? Oh, okay. Nasser, yeah. Alright, we'll, we'll turn around then. Although... Pro fisherman, right here. That's how you fish in real life. Get yourself a cigar boat. Find a lot of fish. Travel roughly a thousand miles an hour at them. It's called fishing. literal visible gold on their bodies oh pulverizing yeah exactly We got jumped. Oh, those guys, huh? Seems a little rude. Just 
Everybody just takes 600. No big deal. Nuke him from orbit. Are you kidding me? This is going super well. Moons, give me strength. Done two guys. The boy didn't even die. Oh my. <laughs> cool. Great fight team. We, we really got them. Yeah, right? I don't think it could go worse. <laughs> like that, no. That was maybe the worst fight I've had in the whole game. Uh. What the hell happened there? <laughs> So like, this is us now, I guess, just grinding out these enemies. Yeah, can we not get jumped this time? Thank you. We'll, we'll try this. Sure. Let's not use some magic. never done this before. It was not very effective. Oh my god. Thank you, Vice, thank you for being competent. Do you have the accessory black map with you? No. And don't spoil anything. I'm playing this for the first time. Oh, it's fine. I just, if you were about to be like, go here and get this thing and it'll help you. Like, I, I don't want that kind of direction. Um, Yeah, yeah. Moons, give me strength.
You know what? An utter victory. You know what? If we're just gonna be like grinding idiots, I might do that off stream. So you see, 2402, last we saved, it was 2112. So a little under three hours of grinding to get that 100 gold to buy a house. And it was very boring. I mostly browsed Reddit while I just drove the boat in a circle. So yeah, you're welcome for not showing you that. Yeah, North Carolina and South Carolina. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're back on the island. I think I saved the last time when we were in the air, but all I did was kind of go around in a circle. Uh, one thing I will say, three hours of grinding, yeah. It was like, it wasn't fun either. Um, the enemies that you would fight had these like little, little gold uh, hunches. So those guys were worth a grand. And then the rest of the guys were worth like a couple hundred that they would be like teamed up with. And the guys that were worth a grand would run. And they would also, you couldn't beat all of them at the same time because they were immune to magic. So basically it was just a nightmare. Like I'd send in vice with a uh, reign of swords to like kill one. And they'd also dodge a lot. So like, Send in advice with Rain of Swords to kill one. And then sometimes others, they would like run away and you just have to deal with the rest of the gang there. And it was just like, all the fights took forever and it was like slow, slow grinding. I think we had like 20K when I started before and now we're at a hundred. Um, yeah. Cactars, is that what they're called? I don't even know. Um, but one of the things that I did notice while I was grinding and half paying attention, um, I don't know if I ever put this together, but, uh, real quick. Where is it? Oh my God. This interface. This. So... I always just kind of skip through the, the leveling up the magic. First of all, if one of your guys has a red weapon, all of your guys get better at red. Um, oh yeah, that's what they sound like from Final Fantasy. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, they're not that bad, but yeah. Um, so if one of your guys has a red weapon, everybody in your team gets better by red by two points. And if like, you know, four of your guys have red weapons, you get everybody gets better in red by like, eight points um and it actually counts down and i was getting in so much combat that i started noticing these things um it actually counts down and then we see here like rank six like vice is at rank six for red so he's maxed out so he can no longer gain any red so i started just like chucking whatever color onto whatever person just to, to like try to level stuff up um vice like red is the only thing that we're like totally leveled up in um, you see Akia has 114 so in like if we only have one red weapon Akia will get to uh, level rank 6 in like 50 fights uh, you know she's rank 5 here too um, but the, the rank 6 up is really good it's really powerful magic um so I've been using this in combat where I've individually like boosted power, attack power and defense. And this one just does the whole party. You need 16, which is a little obnoxious, but uh, yeah, it, it'll be good. It'll be good in uh, boss fights. All right, let's quit messing around. Quit talking about the, the grinding I did off stream and let's buy a house from these two old weirdos. Let's jump into the real estate market, basically, is what I'm saying. I 
should put my headphones on and like hear what these guys are doing too. Maybe, maybe. Don't worry, this will be the best investment of your life. This is what every real estate agent says. I wish the base wasn't so secret. I want everyone to see how great it's gonna be. That's it? I gave you 75k and like, you're like, welp. I'll be sure to build you a base you're proud of. All right. Yippee, now I can fortify the Hall of the Dolphins for you. You'll be going through stone reefs and sky rifts in no time. Huh, this will probably take all night. Don't worry, I'll make sure that the ship will be ready to go by tomorrow morning. Counting on you. Now we'll be able to get after the rest of the moon crystals. Like, I was expecting a cutscene of them, like, building that, like, a montage or something. Oh, now we're getting it. Oh. I just remembered, we're talking about making a new flag. I got big rock, yes. If everyone is finished, we can decide on one. I've forgotten all about that. All right, Vice, you first. What, me first? That's all right, graphic design is Vice's passion. We'll be all right, we'll put together a nice flag. Uh, well, put a lot of people into this, don't laugh. I put a lot of thought into this, don't laugh, people. This is what I drew. Being air pirates and all, figured we should at least have a skull in the flag. It makes a good point. Know your audience. <laughs> Since most pirates use swords, figure we should have one on those in the flag too. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, Aki, you're next. I figured the skull thing was overdone, so I tried to do something quick and cunning. That's why I drew a cat. <laughs> So I put, I drew some gold to show people that we'd sneak up on them and steal their gold before they knew what happened. But if they see the flag, Aki, <laughs> then they're going to know you're going to sneak on them and get the gold. That cat looks just like you. Well, I had to give the cat some personality. Do you think I got a little carried away? <sighs> Way too carried away. All right, Finn, it's your turn. I felt that skulls were a little scary, so I want to make something happier. The word Dolphinus re referenced an ancient creature that lived, used to live in the seas. I drew one of them to show at our sh ship. Man, it's early for me. I drew one of them to show everyone what our ship was named after. Wow. There's no reason to be embarrassed, Finna. I don't think there's ever been a, a better air pirate flag than... Oh my god. I'm like struggling. I don't think there's ever been an air pirate flag that looked like this. I like it. Well, that's all of them. Enrique doesn't have a flag. Vice, right, so you're the captain. Which do you like? Oh, we get to pick. <laughs> Not only do we get to pick, but we can pick our own. That seems unfair. I like that the option is, hey, sorry I burst everyone's bubble, but I'm picking my own shit. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? We picked the cat flag. It's got a gold piece in its mouth. It's hilarious. Let's go. The dolphin's pretty good. The dolphin is pretty good. Like, here's the thing. The dolphin's fantastic. Vice flag is fantastic. Akia's is ridiculous. <laughs> I think Akia's flag will lift the spirits of the crew. Yes, I agree. I like what it stands for, and it's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I'll make a big one and put it on the bridge. It's getting late. I'm starting to get hungry, too. Hey, everyone. Dinner's ready. Yay! Great timing. Well, it looks like we're spending the night in our new headquarters, Crescent Isle. Those old guys just took a, a hundred thousand gold from us, didn't they? 
I'm not going to build anything. Well, the improvements to our ship are almost finished, and pretty soon we'll have an actual base on this island. Yeah, starting tomorrow, we should start searching for the remaining moon crystals. Yes, but I hope this time I will not get airsick. <laughs> You'll have to get over that. Oh, Finna, there's something I wanted to ask you. The Admiral, uh, what was his name? Ramirez? How do you know him? What? We're just not going to talk about the fact that Drachma is, like, long gone. Like, we're just not talking about that, guys? When we met him in Nasser, you seem to know an awful lot about him. If you don't feel like telling me, it's okay. Don't worry about it. No, I'm sorry. I should have told all of you about him sooner. I will tell you everything I know about Ramirez. You know that I'm a Sylvette, descendant of the, the Silver Civilization. Ramirez is a Sylvette as well. I'm shocked. <laughs> Vice, what? Vice, there's a constant line through this whole game, and it is Vice not understanding what's going on around him. Ramirez was our best warrior. He could channel the power of the silver moon through his blade, making it sharp enough to cut through light. We grew up together. A long time ago, he was one of my best friends. He didn't used to be so, so heartless and cruel. He used to care for me like a little sister. When we heard that the Valuans were trying to reawaken the Kigas, Ramirez volunteered to come down here and stop them. He went on a journey to search for the crystals, alone. Shortly after he started this quest, we lost track of him. We never even dreamed that he would join forces with the Vluan Empire. Those were the people he was sent here to stop. I don't know why he changed. I hope that the Ramirez I know isn't gone forever. Admiral Ramirez, not only is he one of Vluan's greatest swordsmen, but he's also a master strategist. He used to be Galson's vice captain. But I don't think Galson knows Ramirez's past. I don't even think Galson knows Ramirez's past. Finna. Uh, install her with confidence. Try to cheer her. I'm going to try to cheer her up. Cheer up, Finna. We're here with you now. Two air pirates, a Sylvette, two crazy old men, a snot nosed brat, and an airsick prince. <laughs> Vlula doesn't stand a chance. There's no other ship that can boast a more motley crew. Vice. Finna, what Vice is trying to say is that you're not alone. I'm not sure if I appreciate his comment about the air sickness, but we're all together now. Vice, Akia, Enrique. When I came here, I was all alone. Look at that animation. Wiping away the tears. When I came here, I was all alone. And I have so many wonderful friends. Thank you so much. I will do my best. All right. So tomorrow we continue our search for the rest of the moon crystals. We'll start early. Oh, Enrique, she can get up on time without a without a servant to wake you. Hey, I always get up on my own. I don't need any servants. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Well, it's time. Where should we head next? In the east, there's a land that basks in the light of the blue moon. That land is known as Yaf... Yaf... Yafutoma? I guess, Yafutoma. They harness the powers of the blue moon. They have control over wind and water. Their culture is very different from yours. Yafutoma, Yafutoma. You've heard of it, Enrique? Yes, according to Blue and historians, it's a country far east of Nasser. It's scattered across several small islands. I remember the stories. The people are protected by scales, and they eat by manipulating two sticks to pick up. Oh my God! Please. Huh? 
They eat with sticks and are protected by scales. <laughs> oh my god, this piece of art. <laughs> How are you supposed to eat with two sticks? What do you mean scales? Are they monsters? Mm. Somehow I don't think it's what you're imagining, Akia. We picked our flag and it was a mistake. I wonder what these strange wind and water people are like. I can't imagine eating with two sticks. I was hoping that we'd uh, get to eat all kinds of exotic food on our trip. This has me a little worried. To get to Yafutoma. 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 <laughs> Yafutoma. We should sail around the southern tip of Nasser. Some time ago, during the Valu and Nasser War, a cape was discovered by invading Valuan forces south of Nasser. The cape was named Cape Victory. There's a city called Esperanza. If anyone knows how to get to Yaf Yafutoma, it would be the people there. Let's go! Okay, so we're heading south of Nasser. Everyone get to their stations, let's go. Look at that giant flag in the background. <laughs> Hey, we put 75k into where we live. And we, I guess, don't get to see it. <laughs> cool game. Uh. Pirate Isle, Shrine Island. Okay. We're going, I know we're going south, south of Nasser, I guess, south of Nasser. Where, where has, not over here. This is something I was wondering about. Where is, mm. we were in, we were in Nasser, like, uh, however many streams ago. And I have no idea where it is on this map. We checked all the pins. I suppose we're just going to fly south and hope we hit it. We, uh, we don't need, like, to heal up or anything, no. The game, the game gave us a rest. I was gonna say, can we not fly through that? Yeah, here's Nasser. Right? Marmbia. Oh, it's on the continent of Nasser. It was, it was, I got the name wrong. Okay, the only reason I want to stop here is because there's a pirate here that we gotta, I want to try to fight again. Because we tried to fight him. We tried to fight him a while ago, and it did not go well. So, like, let's give it another shot. Hmm, I'm gonna look of a sailor about you. Today's your lucky day. We're feeling generous. Leave all your money and we'll let you live. Do not attempt to resist. We're the legendary air, air pirates of the LaRusso clan. The LaRusso. Larso. Not LaRusso. He's a karate kid, is what he is. You're Rupee Larso, huh? Good timing. We're just looking for you. Place is so little. Make quite a name for yourself, robbing innocent sailors and all. As blue rogues, cannot sit idly by and let you continue like this. You're quite brave for a small boy. Very well then. Shall we battle here and get it over with? No, wait. There's no need to cause any of this destruction. Meet me on my ship. We can fight on the deck. Out in the open, huh? Very well. Lead the way. Vice. Big brain on Vice. He's like, he's like, no, 
air pirate who's trying to steal from me. You come into my home and then try to steal from me. Invites the blue rogues. Prepare to defend yourself. You're truly a brave little boy. However, you're mistaken about one thing. I'm not Rupee Larso. Master Rupee, it's time to do battle. Come out here. You know I hate fighting. Master Rupee, you're the head of the Larso clan. You should not say things like that. There are enemies present. Now that your father has passed away, you're a leader. You must be strong. This little runs their leader? I heard the leader of the Larso clan was a giant. I guess I shouldn't believe everything I hear. What? What'd you say? How dare you speak of Master Rupee like that? She'll pay for your insolence. <laughs> hear me out. Get a weapon. Get a wagon, put a sail on it, become land pirates. Man, I did a comic like that back in the day, but it, it never, I don't think it came out. It started, it, four issues of six came out. Uh, I shall crush your skulls like so many loquat berries. Like loquat berries? Barda, why do you always gotta be so graphic? It makes my, it makes me sick to my stomach. Master Rupee, I was just trying to put fear into them. Be strong, we're about to do battle. Prepare yourselves! Now put your back into it. We must show them the true power of the Larso clan. No, it was a, it was a book about, uh, Punk hit. I, I mean, you could probably find the first four issues. Uh, it's called uh, Pirates of Coney Island. And uh, it was about punk kids who would had a van with a harpoon cannon and they would like steal other cars. They would like board other cars on the highway and stuff. It was actually pretty fun. Um, we hit a hiatus and then we got a second artist. Yeah, we need 16 for this, so. We're gonna try not to use any guts points. They are red. We got a second artist on it and, okay, red and purple. Uh, all the work got done, but I don't think it, I don't think it ever came out, unfortunately. Like we wrapped up the story and everything. I don't think anybody ever saw those two issues, unfortunately. I thought it was good work. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna focus with Finna. She's not very offensive. You're pretty invested in the harpoon van idea. It's a good hook. No. Oh no. <laughs> Was this a bad idea? What does that mean? Okay, this fight might have been a bad idea, but we're gonna find out. I don't think, he doesn't have a whole lot of hit points. We should be all right. 18. We can take another hit. Legendary charge. Have I seen the new season? I haven't seen any Castlevania, unfortunately. Um, I started watching it uh, at my computer, and I was like, I was trying to watch it while I was working, and I was like, I need to focus on this. Um, so I haven't, I haven't actually watched it. I don't know if I will because I don't have a ton of time. Uh, all right, now we got, we can Cutlass Fury, or I can wait and do Pirate's Wrath. 
We can just keep attacking, I guess. We can just keep attacking. Just keep running it back. Focus. Will Enrique die? Wait, can we? Do we have enough? We should quick the party. This seems bad. Oh my god. Oh, Vice is dead. Everyone went down. It's good, especially if you like the Castlevania series of games. Yeah, I bet. Uh, seems like we're losing this fight, by the way. From the from the untrained perspective outside, how are we missing our own magic? So he legendary charge and then he punches. I wonder if we can counterattack the punches. You know, yeah, Warren Ellis does what he does. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure it's good. This does seem like a rough fight, yes. God, that one guy is so tough. Um, skull shield is what we want, right? Yeah, defend and counterattack. Can we delta shield too? Anti magic shell, let's do it. I don't know how they're not managing to hurt Enrique, but like, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, maybe we should... Specifically heal Vice, yeah. The pirate skeleton has activated. Okay, so we apparently cannot block that. So we're, we're down to half crew. <laughs> okay. Let's try this. Not gonna do it. All right, okay, okay, uh, I have a plan. Okay, hear me out. From the untrained eye, it seems like we're losing this fight. And uh, I've got a pretty good plan over here. There we go. Perfect. Exactly what happened the last time. 
I'm gonna reboot the capture card to make sure that uh to make sure it's it's all good as far as um Yeah, yikes is right. <laughs> I think when we lose half our crew, I don't think we're ready for that fight. I thought, like, yeah, so we came to that fight when we were, like, 10 levels lower, and I was like, I'm gonna come back for these guys. And then, and then now we came back for them, and now I'm like, I'm gonna leave these guys alone. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. These guys, feel free to air pirate as much as you want. I will not mess with you. Okay. We want to go south, right? Through around a, around a cape. Um. All right. Can we go south? We can. Wait, what? Hold on. Maroon Isle. You know what they say? <laughs> yeah. Knowing when you're beat half the battle? Eh. Long ago, when air pirates betrayed their crew, or captain as punishment, they were abandoned on this island. It was only a week's supply of food. So fearful did pirates become in this island. Its, it's legend lives on in there. Songs of air pirates even today. But I already leveled up. That's the thing. Can we get through this? We can get through this. The map can no longer mess with us. What the hell? That's a black hole. Come here, fish. All right. Not going near that. The reset button, yeah. Know, knowing when your beat is the real winner. Are we supposed to... God, I don't even remember where we're going. We're gonna stop and ask for directions at some point. I don't think we can get past that. Oh, hey, here's a town. Oh, this is where we're supposed to be going. That sky rift looks worse than any of the others. If we tried to power our way through it, I think the Delphinus would get ripped into pieces. But if we don't go through there, we won't be able to reach uh, the Afutoma. Is there something we can do? The Afutoma. I gotta say it right. Enrique having a tough time. With the air pirating? Ah, oh, buddy. You feeling any better? No, to be completely honest, I feel awful. Why don't you guys take a look around the city? I don't think it'd be wise for me to move in my condition. I'll stay here and look after Enrique. We're splitting up. Always a good sign. Let's go check out the city. Someone here has to know how to get to Yafutoma. I'll talk to this cat. Stray Huskra. Pow pow. I like his style. Degenerate. <laughs> they have to write degenerate? That's, that's whew, a lot of judgment flying around before we even get a word out of this guy. Ex-Valuan soldier. 
The city was built by Valua during a time when Valua was trying to extend its hand influence into the rumored countries of the Far East. Everyone used to be full of hope here, but once people realized it was impossible to get through the Dark Rift, that hope disappeared. Then one day, Valua decided to leave this city to rot. All the sailors here lost their ships, their crews, their dreams. All right, well, see you later. What is this? Can we go in here? Oh. Hey, buddy. Sailor from the Little Shack. Huh? What'd you say? Trying to go to the east? Not even the balloons can get past that maelstrom. Don't talk crazy like that. I like his little shack. I wonder if we're going to be able to recruit more pirate crew. Hey, I'm in your home. Hey, it's the newcomers. Let me guess. Came here hoping to get to the legendary lands to the east, right? My parents were the same way. When I was just a little girl, my parents brought me here with plans on going to the land to the east. Our ship sank. And I've been here ever since. But what a waste. The rest of the world will never be able to see how pretty I've become. Ha ha ha. But hold on. Hold on. Were you just washing your hands with a glove on? Just wanted to point that out. Just going back to washing your washing your hands with the glove on. Huh? My parents, they went down with the ship, killed by the maelstrom. Hey, don't worry about it. They were foolish for thinking they could get through the dark rift anyway. There's stuff over here. There's no hidden stuff over here. The Dark Rift is a giant sky rift. Thank you, sir. It's an evil maelstrom. I've heard that once you're inside the vortex, everything goes a little strange. There's no light, compasses don't work. It's easy to lose track of where you came from. Thought he was gonna dab there for a second. Well, <laughs> He's like, hard to know where you came from, dab. <laughs> well, at least, you know, that's what some of the survivors said. I don't know if they're telling the truth or not, though. Where are you? Are you an invisible guy? Or are you a different, the other invisible guy? Are you down in this hole? I don't want to go down in the hole yet. Let's go down in the hole. There you go. Down in the hole. I wasn't done exploring up there. Now we're in like a whole other section. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, 2,000 gold. Great. That's the only thing that was up here? Oh, 
Okay. Okay, we haven't gone this way yet. Is this the inn? It's been many years since someone from Na outside Nasser stayed here. 280. Ain't another places to rest in this city. Alright, save it, I guess. I don't know why, but might as well. This one has like a weird connection to the lighthouse? Somehow? There we go. Genius. Degenerate ex fluent soldier. Just looking at this fortified lighthouse, you can see how important the city was to Valua. But now it's nothing more than a giant tower of metal, broken cannons and all. Well, I suppose people are just the same. If you're not constantly brushing up your skills, you start to get rusty. Just like this old tower. Oh, he's like working on it. I thought he was like drunk and passed out. <laughs> well, we're the same as the scrap metal you see here. Nothing but useless rust. Damn you, damn you piece of junk. All right, well, see you later. There's a guy up here, huh? There he is. I've caught a lot of moonfish. I've not turned in a lot of moonfish. Suppose we'll be able to do that at some point. That's the only reason to be up here. At some point, I guess we'll find that boat again and turn in some moonfish. Wasn't that around Pirate's Isle? Man, we should have really not spending my time properly. Here, nope. Hey, buddy. Old lady. Ma'am. All of our problems are from the foolish people who try to follow their dreams but fail. <laughs> Just keep on your feet. Just keep your feet in the ground and you'll be all right. It's because people thought. Going to the far off lands of the east, they're stuck here, unable to go anywhere else. The fools! Thanks for your editorialization, but I'm gonna get there. My name isn't Vice the Fool. Okay, I don't know what the heck's got over there. Is this the bar? It's the only large building. It is. Let's talk to this this person. Pitiful sailor. You're not from around here, are you? You ain't from around here. Actually, we just came into town and we're wondering if someone could help us. So you came to me. Well, well, first, yes, I came to you. After I came to everybody else before you. <laughs> 
Well, that's just great. By the way, name's Don. Now ask me your question and be on your way. Okay, Don, first question. Sitting like that cannot be comfortable. Second question. You know that sky rift to the east? How do you get through it? So you're looking for a way to cross the dark rift, eh? I like this scene. Two, two people at the bar, and they're like, <gasps> So the world is still full of fools. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Are you kids serious? You're trying to cross the dark rift? They don't stand a chance. Someone better tell their parents where they are. <laughs> Kid, that's no ordinary sky rift. Yeah, that's why we're asking questions. <laughs> During the war, this cape was discovered. The city was built. This place is on the edge of the world. If we try to go any further east, you'll be killed. Hundreds of men, good men, died trying. But there's always a few fools who don't heed the warnings. The Dark Rift usually claims them. Some of the best sailors from all over the world tried to cross to the Dark Rift. They came from everywhere. <laughs> one by one, they tried to pass through the Dark Rift. All of them failed. Failed going through the Dark Rift. The ships that enter the Dark Rift are either pushed away by the winds of the Dark Rift or they get sucked into the Dark Rift, never to return from the Dark Rift. My crew and I lost our ship. We were lucky to survive. After a while, sailors stopped coming. All we do now is sit around here and wait to die. Some things are just impossible, kid. Why don't you go back to wherever you came from and have your mommy tell you bedtime stories? <laughs> hey. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> Daddy, you've thrown your lives away. Don't you care about anything? Vice, let's go. We're wasting our time here. Thanks for telling me about the Dark Rift. Before I go, I just want to say that I've never met a more pitiful bunch in my life. If you lose sight of one dream, replace it with another. Think about how much you could have accomplished in the time that you've spent here. Just because you couldn't cross the Dark Rift, are you just going to sit here for the rest of your life? Because you tried something once and failed, are you going to throw the rest of your life away? There's a whole world out there to see. You don't have any desire to sail again? Fenno, what is it? Vaisakia, come to the port, quickly! The Armada is coming. The Armada? What are they doing here? Okay, let's move. We are you back to the port. Alright. Uh, can we go this way? We can go this way. We're not gonna hurry back to the port quite yet. I suppose we'll talk to this person first. You know what's- there's nothing over here. There's nothing over here. Is there a sham or anything? Invisible items? No. Okay. Ah, welcome. We'd like to see my wares. I can kind of do a little better with the miracle robe. I don't have any money because we've used it all on our home that we never even got to see. Um, do we have stuff to sell, maybe? I 
mean, we could sell some of this stuff. Keep this other stuff, I guess. Steel deck. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna keep the other ship stuff. Um, uh, three or four charges. Cure box. Pyre. We can get rid of this. Oh, barely any worth anything. Is all this stuff barely worth anything? No, this is. This is an invaluable, a valuable treasure. Okay, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Drill squid. Can make a decent meal eat, better eaten raw. It's sushi. Oh, this is like the fish that we've picked up along the way. Golden mask. Yeah, we'll sell that. Soul Crystal. We'll sell that. Unholy Dagger. Out of here. Okay. We got a little bit of money now. Wing of Hope. We get, So we have weapons for... Uh, it's like 8k. We can do that. Equipping weapons... Uh, it seems like a really good idea. Uh, the cat's tunic. Everybody can wear it. Battle worn armor is only vice. Akefina and Enrique. Enrique, it's not great, so we only need two miracle robes and the tunic. Or, oh wait, two miracle robes and the battle armor, right? Yeah. A little more defense, a little less magic defense for the battle worn armor. Let's see if we can sell some of the stuff that we, yeah. I know, like, all this RPG due diligence is not thrilling to watch, but, like, you just gotta get through it. Uh, what does this stuff do? Improves hit percent and attack power. Um, that seems really good. Uh, detect targets at night. Oh, hit percent. Hit goes way up. Uh... Small shield improves dodge percent and defense. That one goes up 60. That one goes up 30. Nocturnal sight. Uh, let's, let's, let's get one. Put it on vice. And uh, I think we're done. Thank you. Come again. All right. Now let's see what's going on that needed our immediate attention down here. Before we do that, though. Because I do not want to do all that due diligence again. Vice, you're back. 
think you need to see this. Well, I didn't even get to read that because I was trying to figure out how to pronounce that ship name. A huge armored ship remar <laughs> belongs to Admiral Gregorio. Gregorio is the best defensive tactician in the in the Valuan Armada. They nicknamed him Iron Wall. Interesting. He's forming a blockade around the town. Prince Enrique. I've come on behalf of the Admiral Gregorio. He has an urgent message for you. I see. Well done. I hope my prince finds himself in good health. I heard that you have a change of heart, or were perhaps brainwashed by the air pirates. Empress Theodora sent me to escort my prince back to Valua, so that he may recover. If my prince refuses to comply, my ships will regrettably begin firing upon the city tomorrow, at noon. Your humble servant, Gregorio. Hmm. Uncle Gregorio is asking me to surrender. Uncle? What? Oh, Gregorio was an admiral in the Armada even before my father, father passed away. He helped raise me when I was growing up. He's always been like an uncle to me. Or like a dad to you. I know he doesn't want to fight. He really does want me to surrender. But I can't go back. Not after everything they've done. Even if, even if it means I have to fight him. Enrique? Let's rest up for tomorrow. Gregorio is the most honorable man I've ever met. He won't break his word. Uh -huh. I understand. We should rest on land tonight and keep you off the ship till tomorrow. The last thing you need is for your uncle to see you throwing up over the railing in the heat of battle. Great. Now you're starting to sound just like Akia. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. Let's stay at the end of night. We're going to need our rest. Well, I guess now we'll fight them. Uh, probably a good idea to save. I'm like compulsively saving. Uh, we just like get in the ship. Okay, yeah, all right. I didn't know what it wanted me to do there. Hmm. We're gonna go fight the Admiral, give it everything you got. Hey, you aren't actually gonna go fight against the Armada, are you? Huh? Planning to fight Admiral Gregorio by yourselves? Yep, that's the plan. I don't doubt your abilities, but I used to be a balloon soldier. I know that the Armada I know what the Armada can do. Going up against one of their admirals is crazy. Our ship's the best there is. We're faster than him, and I think we can match his firepower. But even if you win, you'll never get through the Dark Rift. Like I said yesterday, ship's the best there is. Engine's more powerful than you think. And it might just be powerful enough to get us through the Dark Rift. Besides, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to see what's beyond the edge of the world. He stares off into the distance. That very edge is right in front of me. I got a chance to do what nobody's done before. I got a chance to make history today. Uh, if I said that I'm not scared, I'd be lying. But I won't let this opportunity pass me by. Chance to fulfill my childhood dreams lies right in front of me. You don't expect me to just give up, do you? I suppose then, no matter what I say, you're not going to listen. The Dark Rift is a giant vortex. If you get through one side, you'll reach the eye in the middle. It's rumored that the eye is calm. There are other calm pockets along the edges of the Dark Rift. If you find one of the pockets, you might have half a chance. 
Uh-huh. I see. Thank you. I'll come back here when I'm done, I promise. Don has a character name, so I wonder if we pick him up in the crew. Heh, <laughs> kid, you're just like me when I, when I was your age. Back before the Dark Rift. Which is all I talk about now. Admiral, Delphinus is approaching. It's moving into attack position. My orders were to bring him back alive or kill him if he refuses. We must do everything in our power to take him alive. All ships, prepare to attack. Delphinus is the Armada's most powerful ship. Our adversaries may be young, but we cannot underestimate them. Vice, the Armada's getting ready to attack us. This is it. Everyone, man your battle stations. We gotta get past Admiral Grigoria's defenses. We will defeat him. And we'll get through the Dark Rift and, te and reach Yafutoma. Let's go! Aye, aye. Alright, ship battle. That's a big boy. Air Pirate Scum, hand over the prince. You'll pay, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, so he's got a powerful attack, apparently. Cannot increase the ship of power for four turns instead of two turns. That's great, but also not worth the 16. Um, we will. I'm wondering how much we want to rest. What is this? What are these options? S cannon, crew. Oh, that's S cannon turn. Oh, so, okay. That's not him on the board. I was confused because it's not the harpoon cannon anymore. It's the S cannon. We're going to try to, um, what is this, crew? What's this option? Doesn't, does not tell me what this does. Okay. Um, we're going to focus, 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 because I don't know what he's doing yet. We're at full health and we're going to need to use the S cannon. Took a hit. We took one hit right then. All right. We are absolutely going to fire that thing. We can fire it next turn as well. Might as well heal. And then focus, I guess, again. Like, I don't know, He's, this fight doesn't seem that hard. He said, knowing full well the fight was not over.
Brimstone Cannon, fire! So that, that did it. I think that did it. That was such like an anticlimactic fight. Got speed wax though. Hell yeah. For speed. <laughs> yeah, go, turn. No, not that way. You idiots, what are you doing? You're supposed to fire all your cannons right there. Yeah, get them. They're not that bad. Huh? <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> That's so good. They still need to get past the next line of ships. They have a long way to go. <laughs> Don, please. Now Don is in combat with the rock. Oh no, okay, we're back into combat. You'll never defeat the second fleet of the Imperial Armada. Oh, that's why. That's why we weren't done. We're, because we're just fighting peons. The Gregorio gunboat, okay? turns pretty similarly with uh, the boats because um, you need to build up a lot of the spirit points or guts points or whatever they are. Uh, you need a lot of them just in case you get to like use 15 all at once for the super weapon there. Um, so you want to be prepared. So I usually use the first turn just like focus as much as possible. So like, oh, we get to make a choice and based on the choice, we either get to use the harpoon cannon or not. So, uh, well, I mean, we could just like, the harpoon cannon is gonna take them out anyway. It's like, I don't even know why we have this stuff, <laughs> this extra stuff. I mean, okay. torpedoes.
Dang, they hit me hard. Hit me real hard. Uh, play it safe and continue on the same course. No way. Close in, look for an opening. Heck yeah. out of coffee. Cannon, fire. Oh dang. We do have to fight this idiot. <laughs> Oops. We get the opportunity to use our cannon again, so we can just we can just chill. It's like these. Uh, Ship to sh like the one with the Lynx was incredibly difficult because we were so early in the game with our ship. Um, and you really had to be like on it as far as like all the questions go. Uh, that ship battle was really difficult. And then all the other ship battles have been kind of like you, you just keep your ship in good health and you wait for the opportunity to use your super weapon. That's been all of the ship battles. Are we gonna have to get through all five ships? Cause that's a little annoying. Hey, I'll take it. Shredder bomb. <laughs> that flag gets me every time. All right, we're doing great. Gregorio's ship is dead ahead. He'll be in range shortly. Oh, we're, it's on now. Uncle Gregorio, I can't go back. All right, full speed ahead. Now or never. Okay, now the real fighting begins. I guess. The cool thing is, if we fail this, then we have to fight those first two ships all over again. <laughs> Super fun. Prince Enrique, 
Please forgive me for taking up arms against you, but you leave me no choice. I will not allow you to escape. You will not get past the Ar Aruga. Ariga? I don't know, whatever. We're gonna shoot it out of the sky. We don't have to know the name. Okay. I mean, we could... I don't know. It's like... At first I thought, I was like, oh, we got a bunch of advantage here, we should use the weapons and stuff, but it's like, I don't have any guts points, and like... I need them if we're gonna use the super cannon, so we might as well just focus, heal, hang out. As I said before, he's been nicknamed the Iron Wall by his peers. He's Armada's best defensive tactician. I've heard that he sets up a tight defense and waits for his enemy to make even the smallest mistake. It's then that he attacks. Uh, okay. Thanks. I mean, we could take some shots at him, I guess. Man, we can use the cannon coil, like, the whole round if we want. Hold on. We can, oh man, we can even push it into the next round. We'll just use it here. Not nothing. Not nothing. We got a very interesting round coming up.
guard or heal? Let's just guard. So it's going to give me like a 50-50 guess as to what we're supposed to do, and it's either going to brutally punish me or... I guess, or let me just murder him. annoying. 4,000. It's like, alright. I can't believe it. He just rammed us with his entire ship. He's crazy. Vice, watch out. He's not letting up on that cannon fire either. Wait. Wait, what? We don't get to use the thing? We don't get to use the thing. Apparently we were supposed to like hammer him in order to get him to stagger so that we wouldn't, we wouldn't. Okay, all right, I know how to do this now. We don't have advantage on any of these attacks, so I'm just going to basically pass turn. Um, let's like, was this 4,000? Just like heal, heal, focus. Heal. It's kind of hilarious that like they're like this guy's a defensive genius and like his move is just like hit my sh <laughs> throw my ship at the other ship like that's your move dude you're a genius He's slowly wearing me down. We need to do something about that ram attack. Only Gregor's heavily armored arugula can pull off attack like that arugula. I called it the arugula. Maybe we can dodge his attack if we somehow increase our speed. Perhaps we can increase our speed with magic or some other method before he tries to ram us. Huh. I mean, we do have speed magic. Could start just shooting. Could just start shooting. Wait, 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 wait. Before we start shooting, let's make sure we're we're good at shooting. And then I guess advanced cannon.
This is why they gave us that speed wax. Because they're like, you gotta go faster versus this guy. We missed with the cannon. We missed twice with the cannon. We missed three times with the cannon. Nice. Way to play the game. Thank you. Get him. We could use... We could use the torpedo and like hit on that C. We should, we could heal. He isn't hitting us that hard. I'm gonna focus just cause I feel like we're gonna need the points. But he's, he's hurting right now. should heal. We should hammer him. I feel like we got him. Even though we're taking hits, I feel like we got him. Can we just... Oh no, we can't until the cannons are all done. Hit him with this cannon. Oh, we could actually torpedo and then uh, advanced can't. No. Seven and six. We'll, we'll advanced cannon here, and I guess uh, focus. He's almost done though. Like we should get him here. Yeah, we don't even we don't even get the other uh, cutscene decision to know if our speed paid off. Captain Stripe, nice. Heavy armor deck, I'm into it. Twelve inch cannon, I'm into it.
<laughs> I always thought that if we were ever in battle together, we'd be on the same side, says Enrique. Gregorio, what? I can't hear you over all this wind. You're very far away from me. Please speak up. Prince Enrique, is there anything I can do to make you reconsider? No, made up my mind. I'm not going back to Balua. I know that you've not noticed a change in this empire as well. Or, I know that you've noticed a change in the empire as well. They are headed down a dark path. Trying to rule the world with an iron fist, it will be Valua's downfall. This world, the sky, it's not Valua's to rule. It belongs to the people. The sky belongs to the people. And to right the wrongs that Valua has committed, I've decided to travel with Vice and his companions. Tell my mother. Also tell that I pray every day for her good health. This is goodbye. I must go. Be well. Farewell, young prince. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's so stupid. Those kids are great. They took out the Armada with one ship. They make me feel like sailing again. Vice, you put on quite a show. If you make it back from the Dark Rift, come back here and take me with you. We're gonna get Don. He's invaluable. I can't believe I'm saying this. You hear me, kid? You better make it back. Can't, he can't hear you. He's like so far away from you, dude. But we heard him. Okay, uh, all right. Should we dock it and save it? Maybe? Do some like ship repairs? Can we do ship repairs? We also got that captain strike. Um,. Let's check the equipment. So we got the we got the twelve inch cannon now. Um maybe we get rid of the torpedo. Maybe the prototype cannon? Prototype cannon only has an attack of a hundred. A hit of 85, a speed of 6. So you need 6 to shoot the cannon, and it attacks for 100. It does not seem good. Like, the advanced cannon seems better than this, right? The advanced cannon's one more speed for uh, more hit and more attack. So the prototype cannon seems like it's not great. What if we changed it to the 12 incher? The hit percent goes down, but... I mean, I don't know. It seems it seems good. Um, we only have the prototype cannon, so yeah, we'll we'll keep it like this. I feel like if we're using the um, the ten inch and the twelve inch here, um, we'll be able to hit like multiple multiple attacks on multiple turns, which seems like the way to win. Um, Armor deck, engine covered, armor deck. Okay. Engine cover is like three quickness. Armor deck is 10. What did we just get? We got heavy armor deck. That's 55. Yeah, it seems a lot better. Uh, we'll swap out uh, armor deck for the heavy armor deck. What else does this stuff do? Magic. Turbo kit. Whoo! Getting that, getting them uh, spicy turbos on this thing. That. How did the turbo go on a car? Like, man, I can't make the turbo noise. Uh, look, look it up online. It makes a cool sound when you're changing gears. Uh, yeah, we're going to put the turbo kit on uh, instead of the engine cover, I guess. Dodge percent goes up. Yeah. 
Uh, steel deck does... Steel deck does 20. Why are we using armored deck? I'm a fool. Alright. I feel like, a, man, I really want to try doing turbo noise again, but I'm, I'm sure I'm going to do it bad. I'm sure I'm going to be terrible at it. So, let's just... Oh, engine uh, increases the engine, the ship's quick as well. But, whatever. Turbo kit does that too. I think that's fine. Can we use uh, our captain's stripe? Do we need a, to use a repair kit? Maybe. There we go. Uh, we will use the captain's stripe. Hold on, let's wait to save. Let's uh, nap in the inn first. Heal, heal everybody up. Oh, let's hit up the merchant, do some more due diligence, sell some of the ship accessories that we're not using, the ship guns that we're not using. I don't even know if we can sell them to this guy. We can. I'm committed. Common bomb. Out of here. Gear grease. Out of here. We need that kit. <laughs> Shredder bomb. I don't think we. I just don't think we need it. We're gonna keep the speed wax in the complete kit. Uh, should we keep any of this stuff? Maybe like three inch blaster. We definitely don't need anymore. Um. Yeah, heavy and B-type we definitely don't need anymore. Hunter torpedo. Is this better than our other torpedo? Uh, yeah, I think, I think we've sold all the stuff that we need to sell. Got our ship in order. It's funny, this guy's like sitting on a blanket as a merchant with like a couple of swords, some rugs, and we're like, Hey, uh, can you take these, uh, torpedoes and, and this heavy mounted gun? Uh, just put them on your blanket, I guess. I, I don't know. They're your problem now. Still, still no coffee. I keep checking. No change. I heard from a man that managed to survive a shipwreck in the Dark Rift. There are strange planets called Lenados. Said he survived by following the paths on which these things grew. I wonder what they look like. All right, Let's save. I guess we'll hit the Dark Rift. Might as well, right? I mean, what could go wrong?
fish. I didn't catch any of you. I got one of you. Two of you. <sighs> okay, let's bomb into the dark drift. And big D. No big deal. And big D. Dark drift. Looks like we can get inside through here. Enrique, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at this point. Plus, we must get through the dark drift no matter what. Don't mind me. I'll be fine. This is neither... Oh my god. Our surfer. No one wants to be famous. Please. There's gotta be a better way to ban people. I don't know. I keep getting these like wanna be famous, and I'm like, no. Leave me alone. Okay. We're in the dark rift. Things are totally fine. Hey Kelly. Dog came up to say hello. Suppose we'll go towards that thing. Oh, this is like a save point. This is like a ship save point. We've never seen that before. I'm saving it on this one because I'm apprehensive about the Dark Rift. Alright, alright. Dark Rift time, huh? Cool. Is this anything? Can we go here? Can't go here. This ship is gigantic. I don't think we were supposed to drive up to it. I think it was supposed to be a background piece. Can we go this way? Is there a secret rift over here? Secret Rift. Oh, it's these idiots. These were the things I was fighting for gold. They're green, so they're weak against red. I know for a fact the gold one here uh, can't get damaged by magic, so we're gonna hit that guy hard and then uh, attack the rest of the crew. It's already red. Uh, we'll change to red. Change to red. These guys, the blue ones seem a little weaker than the gold ones. Is this their thing? They're like the mud hands in Dragon Quest. They call other friends. Cause I'll I'll beat on you all day, dude. Oh my god. 
There's gonna be a million of them. We should try magic next turn. See if it works. Looks like we will be beating on these guys all day. Over there. How about you? Get him. And finally, here we go. See if magic works on the blue guys or not. It does. It does not work on the gold guys. Oh wait, we can just pirates wrath this board. I don't know if that'll do anything to the gold. Wait, it will do something. Let's well, just pirates wrath. Pirates wrath. Oh, we can only pirates wrath one thing. Well, rain of swords. He's gonna run. See, this was my problem when I was trying to like farm all that uh, uh, gold, is that I'd get in a fight with these guys and then they would just run before I could kill them. It was real annoying. Can I not go through this one? I can go through this one. Okay, remember we went left. Okay. Can we go lower? Can always go lower. We're descending into something. Is it actually descending? I don't think it is descending anymore. Maybe it is? I can't check. No. No, I'm not descending. Jeez. Okay. All right. It's okay. I'm not lost. You're lost. I know exactly where I'm going. The music changed. Is that good? Is that bad? Looks like we're out the other side of the dark rift. Oh, in the same side that we went in on. Well. Time to get those fish. Comes back, you come back here, you son. Oh my god. All right. At first, I was like, oh, Dark Rift wasn't so bad. This is gonna be like, this is this is the Lost Woods. This is. The Legend of Zelda Lost Woods, right here.
We're gonna go straight this time. We're not gonna go that sneaky sideway. Back out the other side. Okay. All right. All right. You know what? We're going to leave it there. We're going to tackle the dark rift tomorrow. I have some breakfast with uh, my lovely fiance. And yeah, we'll tackle the Dark Rift tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.